Bukum, a very populated gang community, famous for producing world-class boxes, but the sanitation here is not impressive. Rubbish heaped in many corners and open sewers line the frontage of many homes. In here, many people dump human excreta in drains. Okay, but I Dina Nunu is not too happy. The Accra Metropolitan Assembly has served her a court notice for failing to provide a toilet in her home. According to her, although she yearns to build her own toilet facility, she is too poor. In Leronifia, somewhere, must mark a mark palm if I cut a mite in Yena Gemo, Nagemo, no Jacke in Becaple, Ninka Bafi, no new chone, no new one in Cayoni, or be no new or mediaca, come by wow, no a papel a few fewer, Le Manyama fee. She can't let me be, but no, I'm a chon. I can't buy about pay for forty million, blame my scar forty million. She it is very scarce to find inhabitants who have toilet facilities in their homes. Many residents have not made it a priority. Another challenge here is that many homes are old and residents say it will be difficult converting rooms into toilet facilities. <laughs> It was she, I'm Jan Qualic Bebe. A drunk and my bat just suck away, nay, ye can it be a joy ruohi, a hair or quanker or none were once some more. It was got a ne, le, and gale, a yo, a yo get toilet, wa, dear. Choco, southwestern part of a crime, is a big mess. Rubbish adorned the coastline, and like many other coastal towns in Ghana. Residents freely defecate openly without any care. The pollution here is sore to the eye and a serious health risk to inhabitants. Ten thousands of residents live here without toilet facilities in their homes, so they run to the beach. If the situation in Choco is anything to go by, then Accra has a long way to becoming the cleanest in Africa. George Kobner, Joy News.